What's up my single chats and toxic gamers coming at you with top 20 best free to play games and some of them you can actually play right now that's right my brothers we're gonna get right into it we got a banging ass list uh comment your top three favorite games from the list and don't just a pom pom guys like that's all i gotta say we also have some good uh, some good fps games one of the game that doesn't even have skill based matchmaking oh, though shit. and i know the call of duty refugees they need a game that doesn't have skill based matchmaking guys like this video subscribe if you're brand new and get your overclock keyboards out get your toxic gamers out and we're gonna see if these games hold up or uh, whether these games gonna give you erectile dysfunction. Roll. Known as Project Mugen. Right now, motion is their priority, with swimming, grappling, riding, and driving all showcased, as exploration of this huge city is vital. But oh, the damn. thing which made me... Yo, this is like GTA 10 out here with the anime version, bro. ...an arcade, and immediately starts playing the claw machine, completely seamlessly. This open world is quite impressive. We play as a team of investigators hunting down something known as the Chaos. The devs are now working on boss fights and destructible elements in those fights. If done the right okay. way, Project okay. Mugen could be an amazing uh, what game. What are we thinking? WL banger or you got the erectile dysfunction? Or carry it around like this. A game which okay, is arriving well, imminently bro. is the first person shooter X Defiant. Yay. The premise sets up many factions from Ubisoft games and has them face off in typical deathmatch. Apparently this game is going to have no skill based matching guys. Oh, the key oh, twist is the ability system, with each selectable character having access to skills others do not. It's gonna have skill based matching until like rank 25, but after that, there would be no skill based matching. But we don't know when it's coming out. Go though. toe to toe with Call of Duty. Time yeah. will tell. Monetization will so, be man. via a battle pass, and we are promised no. You honestly, you think this game can compete with Call of Duty? I don't think it's gonna be a COD killer though. Like that's my opinion. But but like, do you think it can compete with Call of Duty? Do you think it can kill Call of Duty? What oh, what are we thinking, time. man? This one is called The First Descendant. Next, an online RPG which takes huge inspiration from Destiny. The First Descendant. Scheduled I think it's gonna have like in summer, this good looking shooter Bernard allows says. both solo and up to four. Yeah, yeah, this game got a whole lot of pom pom, man. Look at that. I mean, god damn, bro. This gotta be made by some Japanese devs. There's no way, like, if it was being made by like the Western devs, they would have probably like flattened everything out. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like all, like all the, the because it's the woke devs. You know, the wokies always do that. Supernatural ability to complement that. Character customization is how you will stand out from the crowd, uh -huh. and to get that, we'll be grinding through content and replaying missions. Damn. We are promised an immersive world with huge boss fights. Okay. Will the first Damn. descendant dethrone yeah. destiny? Find out in summer this year. On to a fighter now, and it's one you've seen before. Multiverses, what? the platform fighter in the same vein as Smash Bros, with 23 characters from Warner Brothers. Man, I remember this game blew up like crazy, and then it's like it just fell or fall flat on its face, right? Because nobody talks about it. And this is like Multiverses 2.0, so it looks like that they about to revive this. After falling away, Multiverses was then taken offline in June 2023 and yeah. will return in early 2024. Oh, they even the fighting aspect it. was great, and hopefully on release the battle pass and progression elements will have the quality needed to uh -huh. maintain an uh -huh. audience uh -huh. i loved multiverse what are you thinking man w mid banger snoozer or you caught the erectile dysfunction like uh, every single time like what now, were you thinking remember arc raiders <laughs> what thinking? the game was due to release in 22 it went silent in 23 That's but now crazy. it's ready in 2024 arc man. raiders has evolved into an extraction shooter where the basic premise is to enter a game recover loot then escape unharmed. The risk reward of entering this hostile place is the hook, as failing in combat here will result in losing your current. And if I'm not mistaken, this is being made by Battlefield devs, right? And the same dev team that made the finals, and the finals was also being uh, was made by the, the the same Battlefield devs. And the final game is amazing. Okay, like I, initially I didn't like it, then I started playing and I love it. The only issue I have is that it just got lack of content. Maybe it has a lot of content, but that's how I feel like because there's like only like two three maps, right? You if know what I mean? Represents the quality here then arc raiders will be great and now it's their sole focus so. arc raiders is coming is an extraction shooter the kind of game you want man it needs more maps bro that's all i ask for should it you needs prefer maps, a free to play bro. action adventure game with a proven track record warframe? then warframe is the game for you with over 75 million registered players and over a decade of continual updates and there's no Damn, sign of stopping wild. now the most recent update is the whispers in the walls a cinematic story driven quest line which starts a new chapter in the Warframe narrative. 
making this oh, the perfect time oh. for new and returning players to jump in. Especially really? as there is new weapon types, enemies, game modes, and locations to explore. If you any, any of you actually play that, like, what are your thoughts on this one? Like, it, it has a lot of that Diablo vibes uh, as well. I, I never played Diablo first Bruh. of all, so I'm, I'm telling you as an outsider looking in. Corvex a brutal concrete warframe with stone and radiation powers. And more updates okay. are coming throughout 2024, oh, oh, oh. including one called 1999, which looks to bend time as the Tenno return to the past in order to un- Yeah, blood thinks that he's interstellar though, or predestination. Right now. Back yeah, in the yeah, 1990s, yeah, 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 yeah. the Delta Force series Delta began, Force? and after nine games, it fell dormant. 15 years later, Delta Force Horcops will release this year as a free-to-play alternative to Call of Duty and Battlefield. Man. Three modes have been demoed so far. Yo, this game needs to bang. There is no Person way, bro. missions in which gear and strategy you pick are key to recovering intel and extracting unseen. Havoc Warfare are the huge multiplayer battles across land, sea, and air. And finally, Black Hawk Down is the story. Yeah, I would say, like, this is de definitely gonna rival Battlefield 110%. And one thing that I just wish that we never got to see was the demise of Medal of Honor though. How many of you guys remember Medal of Honor, man? Medal of Honor 2010 was a banger, damn it! And then they came out with Medal of Honor Warfighter. It, it sucked massive Johnson, therefore like they completely killed the entire franchise. And I have a feeling that if the next Battlefield game does not bang, they better do the same thing again. But we obviously we got another anime waifu game it, lo it looks like, and it's called Blue Protocol. It's the MMO. Weaver, Twin Striker, Foe Breaker, Keen Strider, and Blade Warden, and then team up with others online or go it alone to prepare for the final battle. A great oh, deal of work has gone into a dynamic and frantic battle system which oh, requires players oh, to build a team oh, oh. which complement each other's skills, tailoring abilities to go up against... What are we thinking? W, mid, banger, snoozer, or you caught the big ol' erectile... This my turn! What are we thinking, man? Are the options as limitless as they suggest? We gotta wait a little longer to find out. Blue Protocol is... Nintendo be like, yo, what, you stop copying? our game. Other than that is Hawked, after the PC version went live in early December. Oh, it's Hawked Hawk, is okay. another extraction shooter with a twist. Ten teams of three players arrive at this tropical paradise and must locate the it's, hidden treasure. Man, it is crazy that a lot of these games that are free to play, they are like similar to Fortnite though. Bruh. Like I'm looking at it and I'm like, yo, I, yeah, <laughs> every game is looking like Fortnite right now, bro. What the hell is going on right now? And it doesn't even look that bad. That that's the thing. It doesn't even look that bad, and it's uh, it's free to play. It's looking like Fortnite right now. Like God damn. And a constant stream of cosmetics. I think Hawks will find its audience when it comes to PlayStation Hawks? and Xbox. Releasing any moment now on console, and it's already out on PC. I think it's a gift and a curse, like having games like Fortnite, because uh, if we have, because right now every game looks like Fortnite, but it cannot compete with Fortnite because Fortnite is so big, right? And this one is called uh, UFL. Oh damn, football. Do you call it football or soccer though? Million dollars into it last month. And it's UFL free. wants to be the free to play alternative to FIFA or EAFC, with the mantra of fair to play and not pay to win. The dev cycle is. Yo, that guy looked like the Andrew Wilson CEO for years. Should bro. have ended in 2022. It was extended into 2023 and finally pushed into 2024. A summer oh, release is most likely after closed testing was reportedly very successful. The gameplay looks smooth and each update they post online, it gets more polished. And so far, 65,000 pro footballer names and likenesses are in the game. If you're That's not a fan crazy. of soccer players rolling around oh, pretending to be oh, hurt shit. and you prefer heavily armoured men running into each other, then have a look at the other type of football. Not bad. Maximum Not football. Bad. Not this bad. simulation Not game asks us to be the head coach, making all the decisions from drafting players to calling the plays. Careers can start at college level with many small... Yeah, NFL is done after this one, right? Because, like, listen, man, if you decide, if people decide, if publishers decide to make their games free, uh, I'm talking about, like, different publishers than EA. Like, it's it's just chalked for FIFA and NFL because those games are the same games every, every damn year for $70, Cost right? the PC. Did you know the next skate game will be a free-to-play title. I was shocked too. Skate oh, 4 has oh, been rebranded as Skate and has reimagined the genre of skateboarding to 
create a social and competitive game. Skate Man. is still in pre-pre-alpha, which means things look like this. And do I think it'll drop this year? Well, no. Probably the reason not. Skate yeah. is on this list is due to how it's being developed. It's a community effort, which you can sign up to. Playing each oh, no, update, man. giving... Yeah, there was a massive hype. But, uh, for the longest amount of time, like, people wanted this getting revealed, and when it got revealed, there was massive hype. But right now, there's, like, nothing really going on. I'm not even sure when was the last time they revealed this thing. I believe they revealed it back in 2022 EA Play. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but they got to reveal more, and this... this a Division game. game. Tom Clancy's Division. The Division okay. Heartland, to give it its full title. A survival action shooter that takes Ubisoft? the lore of the Division games and moves Bruh. it away from huge, sprawling cities... I just caught the erectile dysfunction, bro. <laughs> like other Division games, we use cover and then blast our way through fights to claim loot. And as long as we get out unscathed, the loot Man. is ours to keep. But as this is another extraction shooter, loot can also be lost too. Man, I feel like that nowadays it's just live service games, extraction shooter games, uh, battle royale games, and that's pretty much it though. Live service, listen man, it's a good idea on paper. <gasps> hear me out, hear me out, it's a good idea on paper because that means that we're gonna get content, 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 updates, 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 and that's good, right? That's what we want, we want new content in our games, but these suckers have turned and flipped the, the entire definition of live service into new New content, but it's bundles. New content, but it's microtransactions. You feel what I'm saying? And that's a, that, that, it's shocked right Zenless now. Zenless Zone Zero. The gacha heavy RPGs have always been inspired by other games. Genshin was effectively Breath of the Wild. Star Rail was like old JRPGs like Final Fantasy. And, and also like anime games too, right? Like, and, and listen, man, I love my weebs out here. Let me send you some kishi, bub. Uh, but but uh, why every game gotta be live service, extraction shooter, Fortnite battle royale time, and then anime enough man. to take on constantly evolving commissions. It appears the Hoyoverse intends to make a gacha oh, game dang. to cover everyone's favorite genres. Good luck oh, resisting this, hack and slash fans. The Not game bad. most of my I mean, I take it back, not bad though. Interested in this year is Throne and Liberty, a 100 player MMO that takes place in the medieval fantasy world of Cilicium. We have Yo. a simple quest to casually Yo. claim the throne of these lands by defeating the Overlord. From there, it's down to us to choose a path, explore the land by turning into a freaking bird, by the way. Pretty That's amazing. wild. Where was oh I? my god. Yeah, the lands are filled with side quests and. Okay, so far, I think I'll go with like four games. Okay, we obviously still got more games. I would go with this game, Throne and Liberty. Arc Raiders, uh, Black Hawk, Delta Force Black Hawk, uh, 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 X Define as well, though. Like, Hot 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 WL Banger Snoozer, or what do you think? Another medieval sword fest comes in the shape of Warhaven. A Warhaven. large scale melee focused war breaks out, and you are in there to take out as many of the opposition oh, as geez. possible before you fall in oh, battle she. yourself. Oh, <laughs> if you played Chivalry or For Honor, you get the vibe here. To keep things fresh, new unit types will be introduced with new weaponry to master. Okay. Four game modes are confirmed for day one. Dominion, which is about capturing zones. Onslaught is more of a siege and mode, pushing right back now, the what? enemy to their stronghold. And Arms Race and Reclamation are escort style missions. Warhaven's release though? date is expected in the first few weeks of 2024. Hmm. So it might be out by now. This next one wants or to be the next to. social deduction game to take over your life. Like Among Us, this is Ilang. 20 players live- More like social distancing game, bro. Asks. <laughs> then, as night falls, one of the locals becomes the Ilang, aka a human wolf, and Ilang. can unalive fellow players. The next bro, day, what? everyone tries to hey, figure yo. out who it is and save Koji Village. Simple, but effective. And Ilang will be on everything. PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Switch, and mobile. Diablo oh, 4 even more was a massive crazy, hit in 2023, bro. and this year, Path of Exile 2 is aiming to capture that audience. Building on from the original game, Path of Exile 2 is a free-to-play action RPG which blends dungeon crawling with... Yeah, I wonder, like, what Asmongold thinks. Asmongold would be creaming his pants, uh, but, but, but maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. I, I think he likes Diablo, right? Cause that's what I have in my mind, but then I believe, like I saw, I, I still, I, I feel like that he made like a negative video on Diablo because like the game is not what he expected. So I'm not sure whether he's gonna cream or not. I, I take it back. Free man. game video back. without a battle royale. Well, nope. There is one of note. Off the grid. Off but the hold grid? up a minute. Things Another are one? a little different here. There's a 60-hour campaign built into Battle Royale. The oh, narrative jobs have cinematics, but at any oh, point, she, another oh, player on a totally different mission 
can arrive and put an end to your story. With 150 real players on this battle royale island while simultaneously completing yeah. their own story. What are we thinking, man? Mid W banger snoozer? I would go with snoozer, sadly. Oh. The file has been a bit awkward, scripted, and unnatural in places. So Your maybe doctor. expect. Doctor, 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 dis, 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 dis. Respect, respect, respect. Yo, even Doctor Disrespect was playing, On bro. PS5, Xbox Series, and PC. Xbox. And the biggest gaming news of the year is that Stumble Guys is coming to console in 2020. Oh shit, oh shit. Of Fall Guys has somehow Yo. become so big that Fall Guys itself is copying their levels because Stumble Man. Guys is elite gaming. I'm Adam, you're awesome, thanks for- Bro, that game looking amazing though. Guys, uh, we recently have 40 plus minutes of gameplay check this video out and i will see you right there these are new gameplay reveals though and they're looking very good though so i'll check you i'll, I'll see you there